Alrighty, my loves. So um, I think we can safely get started now. I believe uh, we've got everyone who's in the waiting room in. And I'm so excited. So happy full moon. I'm so happy to have a full moon so close to the end of the year. Um, this is just a time that I love to celebrate all of the abundance in our lives, um, all that we've accomplished, uh, all that's had to happen to bring us here to this moment. And, um, you know, I think often as a new year approaches, we start to think about all of the things that we want to do, you know, the new year's resolutions, um, all of the goals, and sometimes we even start to feel a little bit hard on ourselves for maybe some of the things that didn't go to plan, um, maybe some of the things that we, you know, wanted to accomplish in, uh, you know, 2023 um, that haven't gotten done. And here we are at the end of another year. But I just want to use this time to help you see how far you've come. Um, to see how much you've grown, how much you've changed over the past year. And of course, uh, this is always a time for us to celebrate and uh, to honor each other, to meet new people, to spend time together, um, and to see all of the ways that we you know, can connect and all of the things that we have in common. I find that often the things that we share, things that we're going through or struggling with, we can all kind of resonate. Um, and so we will have a chance to share. Um, but before we do that, uh, I just want to take a little bit of time to let you guys really tune in um, and to reflect a little bit on the past year. And so I'm gonna just guide you through some journaling prompts. We're gonna let the music play. And the reason that I actually haven't stopped sharing my screen here um, is because when I do, it seems like the music also stops and then I have to go back and forth and, you know, switch it. So um, I'm just going to keep sharing my slides. Um, but so before we actually really settle in and, you know, take some deep breaths and uh, start with the meditation um, and like a little visualization exercise, um, I would love to invite you guys all to stand up and to just move around a little bit, maybe shake out any nervous energy. Um, you can feel free to stretch. We're gonna be sitting here for a little bit. So I wanna make sure that before you do, uh, you know, get comfy in your seat, um, that we just stand up a little bit and, you know, move around and feel free to dance. Um, the song that's gonna play next is one for me that always just really like lifts my spirits and puts me in a good mood and I feel like is a perfect way to just celebrate um, all that you know we've gone through this past year um, and so go ahead and just listen to the music and I'm going to take out my headphones so that I can get up and dance and move around. <laughs>
Alrighty, my loves. Thank you so much for entertaining me <laughs> and doing a little bit of dancing um, before we get started. I feel like the music was a little bit quiet, so I hope you guys could hear it okay. I turned it up there a little bit at the, uh, at the end, but as this song kind of fades out, why don't you guys just go ahead and start to get cozy in your seat and then uh, just go ahead whenever you feel ready and um, you know maybe just stretch out your neck a little bit and go ahead and start to close your eyes. Devin already warmed up in a yoga class, so that's awesome. Ooh, Addie's in Florida visiting some family. I wish I was at the beach. <laughs> Alrighty, and I'm gonna just close out my chat there for a minute. And I'm gonna invite you guys uh, to go ahead and close your eyes and really start to settle in. And just notice how you feel after a little bit of movement there. And I promise we are gonna get to some journaling, but we're just gonna start with a meditation. And so whenever you're ready, just go ahead and start to deepen your breath. would love for you to focus a little bit more on extending your exhale. So make your exhales just a little bit longer than every breath in. Just focus on letting it all out. Lots of love in and even more love out. And as you get settled, I would really just love for you to call to mind some happy memories from this past year. Maybe some moments that brought you joy, something that you were celebrating. A time that you felt at peace. Allow those feelings to just bring a little smile to your face. here in Pittsburgh, it's a cloudy day. So um, I haven't seen the moon yet, but I was able to see it last night and it was nearly full and already so bright. So go ahead and just call to mind a memory of a full moon. And visualize that bright moon just shining up above. vibrant energy from the full moon 
to shine down and pierce the top of your head. And just soak up that light and loving energy into your body. Allow it to flow. Down your spine, maybe down your arms, through your fingertips. down through your legs, into your feet, Just feel that loving, warm energy radiating through your entire body. And now placing your attention once again on your feet, I want you to imagine that you're standing on a mountain just a beautiful place in nature. You feel the wind at your back. And maybe now it's daylight and you can feel the warmth of the sun shining on your face. As you look around, you realize that you are at the top of a set of stairs within this mountain range. And so I want you to imagine that you are walking down these stairs one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now that you made it to the bottom of these stairs, you see that there's a door. And so you're curious and you wanna see what's inside. And so you go ahead and just gently push and the door opens with ease. And you enter a very dimly lit cave. And as you walk into the cave and enter just a little bit further, you notice a set of mirrors. And these mirrors can be on stands. Maybe they're leaning up against the cave wall. This can look like anything you want it to. And as you walk over to the first mirror, you see a vision of yourself from one year ago. What do you see in that mirror? Take your time and really just look into that mirror and see what is happening around you. 
as you were closing out the year of 2022, maybe celebrating the holiday, maybe looking forward to a new year, an opportunity for a fresh start. What do you see? How do you feel as you see this reflection of yourself from one year ago today? And when you're ready, go ahead and just take one last look. And then you're gonna walk over to the second mirror. And now in this mirror, you see yourself today. And maybe not particularly in this exact moment, sitting here in a Zoom room, but yourself today in your daily life. What do you see? Maybe some things look a lot different than they did in the last mirror. Maybe some things haven't changed that much at all. What do you love about yourself today? What are you proud of? Who do you have around you? And how do you feel about your current circumstances? As we wrap up another year, another holiday season, another month, And as you take one last look in this mirror, I just want you to give yourself a high five in that mirror for all that you have accomplished and how far you've come. <laughs> and whenever you're ready, go ahead and walk over to that third and final mirror. Now, at first glance, this one looks a little bit blurry. But as things clear up and as you look a little bit harder, you realize that in this mirror, you see a version of yourself, of your life, about one year into the future. Look at how far you've come.
How do you feel as this future version of yourself? who has just come a long way, who's grown and changed and blossomed into the version of themselves that they've always dreamed of being. What are you celebrating? Where are you? And who is around you? Whenever you're ready, I want you to just go ahead.
There is no rush here. Take your time, but if you're ready to move on to the next question, you can start to think a little bit more about how your circumstances have changed. So we have thought about how we have grown as people, as human beings, but what about your life looks different than a year ago? And what has maybe stayed the same? Anything that still looks pretty similar to last year? And this could be something that you are really proud of, maybe keeping consistency with, maybe it's a a resolution that you set last year and that you followed through on. Or maybe it's something that you maybe wanted to look a little bit different, but just still needs a little bit more time and hasn't quite transformed yet in the way that you've hoped. But thinking back to that version of you, that version of your life, from about a, a year ago, 12 months. What about your life still looks pretty similar? Maybe you've kept some of the same holiday traditions. Maybe you still have a lot of the same people in your life. Maybe you're still living in the same place. Maybe you're still celebrating full moons every month.
now just thinking back over the past 12 months, what is something that's gone really well this year? Maybe it's something that's kind of gone to plan, or maybe it's something that uh, was even better than expected. Next, is there anything that maybe hasn't gone so well? Maybe a challenge that you've faced? Something that you have been struggling with? Maybe a resolution that you set last year that just didn't stick. Maybe it's something that was completely unexpected. What have you learned from your experiences? The good, the bad, and all the in-betweens. There are so many lessons that we can take from just all of 
life unfolding around us. And so just take a minute to reflect on everything that we have kind of gone over up until this point and just jot down some lessons, some takeaways. And what actions are you proud of yourself for taking recently? I think sometimes we're just so busy and caught up with the life happening around us that we forget to really stop and celebrate all of the little things that we're doing on a daily basis to keep our lives running smoothly. And so if there's really not something coming to your mind right away, just go ahead and write out a list of all of the things that you're doing on a daily basis. And then you can maybe start to see some of those actions that you are really proud of yourself for.
So keeping in mind some of those things that you are really proud of, what would you like to carry forward into the new year? What are some of those things that you are going to continue doing? Maybe it's a new mindset or an attitude that you have adopted. Maybe it's even certain people in your life. What is worth keeping around? And what are you letting go? Maybe as you step into this new year, you.
And before we uh, all have an opportunity to share, I would love for you just to take your time, finish up, and whenever you feel complete, go ahead and just close your eyes for another few moments and really just let everything soak in. And take some of those hopeful feelings for the future, some of the, the proudest feelings of accomplishment from this past year, how you're feeling right now. And just let that soak in for a minute. Maybe you bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly. And you feel the rise and fall of your breath. You feel your heartbeat. Notice what it feels like to be alive. And then go ahead and just bring your palms together at your heart, feel the warmth that you've cultivated. Bring your palms up to your third eye, bow your head and give thanks for this precious time that you've carved out for yourself. When you're ready, go ahead and just let your hands loose. And you can go ahead and just begin to open your eyes and come back into this space. Take your time. And I hope the music doesn't cut off abruptly as I stop sharing my screen, but it might. So I'm just giving you fair warning. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. So, okay, feel free to unmute your microphones. And I'm just going to give everybody an opportunity to share. There's no pressure, but there are some new faces here. So if this is your first time joining us, um, then just go ahead and introduce yourself um, and feel free to raise your hand if you want, or you can just go ahead and, and speak freely. Um, and if nobody goes within the next 20 seconds or so, I might have to call on somebody <laughs> that I think would feel okay with it. <laughs> I can go first if you want, Shan. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay. I'm curious. Can you guys even still hear the music now? 
Hmm. No. Okay. Are you okay with that? I think it's probably for the best. We can just have some quiet time for, uh, for talking. Yeah, that's Sound okay good? with me. Okay. Thank you, Sabrina. Uh -huh. All right. Sorry, my ahead. laptop is about to die. Oh my Sorry, gosh. No sure. worries. Go ahead and share. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me pull out my journal. Well, I think the biggest thing for me was, um, well, the, this is pretty personal, but I know a lot of you guys, and I know you won't. I don't. Yeah, I'll just say all of it. But Go for um, it. I was in not a good relationship, like a an abusive relationship last year, um, and we had just broken up like right before Christmas. So I, I mean, it was a really good thing we broke up. Like I was, it was significantly better right off the bat that that ended. Um, but just that time period of like, right before we broke up was really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And I was just very depressed. Um, and so just like the difference between then and now is just like, really big. Um, I'm so much happier than I was before. And um, just like generally, too, I've been um, telling people how I feel and um like being okay with just like who i am and not letting like other people's opinions um affect my day-to-day -day life um yeah just like taking care of myself and like putting myself first also is a big thing um i've always been someone who does everything for everyone else and um forgets about myself um and for a while i thought that was just like you know, I, that was the way that I just was. Um, but I realized that that was causing me to also be very depressed too, because, um, I wasn't listening to how I felt at all. And, um, so that's definitely been a, a big difference this year too, just like learning to say no to things, um, surrounding myself with people who are, um, good for me and a good community finding new friends, but also um, keeping good ones like Addie and Josh, who are here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think like I was, I'm really happy that I've had some really good people stick with me through um, some tough times, but also, yeah, then now they're here for the good things too. That pretty much sums it up, I think. Sabrina, thank you so much. I'm I always just feel so much better when you're in these calls. You know that. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just so happy to see your face. I know you weren't able to make it to the last couple of full moon celebrations. Mm -hmm. So thank you. And for always sharing uh, so vulnerably and for inviting some new friends. So thank yeah. you. I was wondering um, how Josh and Addie found out about this call. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. I'm just so grateful for this community, um, for a chance to just kind of pause and reflect and, you know, just remember what, you know, we were like, you know, not all that long ago and how much power we really do have. Um, and I'm so proud of you. And I just love mm -hmm. that you are so much happier now and that you feel like you have a, a positive community around you. And so I love you so much. Thank you. Um, I love you too. <laughs> and on <laughs> that note, uh, would anybody else like to either respond to Sabrina or maybe just let that kind of take you into something that you're celebrating, something that you're proud of, or just anything else that's on your heart? Um, I can go next since Sabrina <laughs> mentioned um, Addie and I being here. Thank um, you. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Um, Sabrina told Addie and I about this. Addie's uh, my girlfriend um, as well. Um, a little bit ago. Oh, sorry, my cat's here if she starts. Lots of cats on a call. Yes. I love it. <laughs> um, but I'm really glad that I took, I'm, I guess I wanted to start off with like, I'm also bad at taking time for myself um, and prioritizing my own needs. So I'm proud of myself for doing this tonight um and yeah carving out that time like you said um yeah I think that over the past year I feel like I'm 
Uh, I'm in my junior year of undergrad. And so I mean, my senior year, oh my God, I was thinking about this past year, I was in my junior year um, for like half of it. And now I'm starting. So I'm in my senior year, I'm starting to try and figure out what I'm going to do when I don't have the structure of school and all the things I do with school. Um, and I feel like that change had, or just thinking about that change has been really stressful for me. So I think I want to, um, sorry, now my cat really wants out of the room. Sorry, one second. That's okay. No worries. Sabrina, yeah, thank you so much again for inviting some new friends here. I love the more the merrier. Of course. Um, yeah, but just, um, I think being willing to embrace change, um, not letting my anxiety like hinder my progress because things are going to change um, no matter what. <laughs> um, and I think just like valuing my own needs as much as I value like other people's needs. I feel like, I like, I don't know. I recently like realized like some patterns in how I communicate or like my immediate responses uh, with wanting to like apologize to lo a lot. And I mean, I haven't just realized this, but like um, really realizing how much it impacts the way that I view others and that like they will in turn like view me. Um, so yeah, just being willing to understand that I'm a person who has as much value as the people that I value. Thank you so much, Josh, for sharing and for, you know, sharing whenever this is your first time joining us today, too. Um, but congratulations on being in that last year of school. And uh, I'm just really happy that you carved out some time for yourself tonight. Um, and so, yeah, just keeping in mind that there are so many, uh, you know, things that we often just do for other people out of love um, that we sometimes just let go uh, and let kind of to the side for ourselves. And we just have this, you know, innate desire as humans to want to help people. And so it's really beautiful that you just mentioned that you want to start giving yourself that same love and attention and just showing up for yourself in the way that you do for other people all the time. And yeah, just making that space for yourself. I think we can all take a little bit of that into the new year with us. Um, thank you. Hi, Allie. I love seeing your beautiful face there. <laughs> Um, anybody else feeling called to share? Let's see, I can go to, sorry, if you can hear my family talking in the background. Um, oh, no worries. Um, but I kind of said something like similarly to like, or like wrote about like something similar to like Sabrina and Josh, but like kind of different where I feel like, um, this past year and like honestly like my whole life I have really prioritized like my job and like things that um like my work and like when, whether it was like school or work um and I feel like I kind of used it as like an excuse to like say like no to things a lot of the times mm -hmm. and I feel like recently with like the past few months um I've pushed myself to say like yes to more things whether it's just like um coming to something like this with Sabrina or like just honestly like hanging out with friends or instead of being like oh no like I have to work tomorrow or like oh I just got off work like that type of thing and like I, like I'm not trying to like excuse or not excuse but like tell myself that like being tired after work like isn't valid or something but like I I've started to and I want to continue to like push myself to not um retreat into myself because of like anxiety or like thoughts I have um because I feel like it really isolates me and I yeah it's something I want to continue to work on um but yeah Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Addie. Yes. I feel like maybe just kind of finding that balance between, you know, honoring when you really are just feeling kind of drained and, you know, giving yourself permission to say no, that is so beautiful. 
but also at the same time, really acknowledging when maybe that is a little bit of an excuse and you can uh, really benefit from maybe breaking free from that comfort zone and pushing yourself a little bit. And um, I hope that you're happy that you said yes to coming tonight. I'm so glad that you're here. This has just been um, such a, a beautiful place to just kind of come together and celebrate um, and just meet so many new people. It's so interesting because, you know, the only person here um, that is, you know, has been in my life for a long time is Alex. Um, that's my husband up there. Um, and then my friend Maddie, I've known for a few years now. Uh, and Mary, I actually met during um, a certification that we were both a part of uh, last year. Um, but a lot of you, I, I really just met this year and within the last couple of months and some of you just today. Um, so I'm just really proud of all of you for showing up and, and kind of getting out of your comfort zone and joining a new community. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for doing this for yourselves. And Brian, welcome. I know you missed our uh, our journaling workshop, um, but this is recorded and you guys are going to get the replay tomorrow. Um, so I hope that you can kind of tune in and take your time with that. Um, but thank you so much for for joining us and popping on. This is a perfect time. Um, if you just want to maybe, Brian, share something that you are celebrating um, or something maybe that you're proud of from 2023 if you don't mind no pressure but you're already unmuted so <laughs> oh, shit, i didn't even notice that sometimes no, i talk to perfect uh, <laughs> um yeah i'm proud that i didn't quit on myself this year my girlfriend broke up with me in february and it was really devastating because she well my therapist said i allowed her behavior to convince me and to convince myself and doubt a lot of the hard work I have put into myself as a man and as a person, as a, a human on this planet. And uh, it, it, uh, geez, it sent my anxiety through the roof. But I have taken to being vulnerable openly with people, putting myself out there, making new friends. Uh, geez, I'm, I'm interviewing for is it a fourth, fourth round interview tomorrow for a new job. And I started a men's group and there's 41 of us now in the Pittsburgh area with more to come. And we're going to be putting events together with that. You know, I reached out to try and be a part of this because I saw the happy hippie stuff. And I was just like, that's so fucking cool. I love <laughs> hanging out with the sun. I love watching sunsets. That's just the dopest. And then I realized like, uh, you know, all these people that I'm, I'm taking a risk to try and meet all these good people, many of them are connected. And I knew that I was taking the right actions. Uh, like Maddie, for instance, I met, I didn't know that I was emailing you and the owner of LV Market House to see if you guys would be open to expanding into the Greensburg market. And then I was like, oh, Shannon knows Maddie. And then Maddie knows all these other people and Shannon knows all the other people. And I was like, whoa, they're all connected. This is amazing. So. Honestly, just taking risks. I'm proud of not becoming a hermit. Fucking feeling sorry for myself. I, I did. That's why I started the men's group. I was like, I can't be the only one feeling this way. So, you know, just taking risks. That's uh, that's what I learned in therapy. High risk, high reward. Vulnerability is key for human connection. Yeah, if I feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Sometimes, you know, we can just feel like maybe we if we feel like afraid, like sometimes I question, well, is that my intuition speaking to me? Should I listen to that? But, you know, really just kind of pushing yourself a little bit further and yeah, taking those risks often pays off. And there's usually a reason that we're afraid. It's because we see so many beautiful possibilities and we're kind of afraid of what responsibilities maybe come with that. I le at least I know that for me that that is the case sometimes. Um, and so, yeah, Brian, I don't know if you can resonate with that at all, but thank you so oh. much for just sharing how, yeah, how, how different life looks now. Yeah. Cause sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, if I get what I asked for, what if I lose it? What if I fail? What if I can't do it? You know, if, if I get that job, what if I fuck up? Who cares? 
you know, but that's life. You make mistakes, you fix it, you move on, you learn from it. It's so, but I got some closure last night, which was really great. And uh, I just feel really, you know, really positive that the, the people I'm coming into contact with are like wholesome, generally pretty grounded, like uh, high energy, high vibe individuals. I think, I think that speaks to the work I'm doing on myself and who I'm choosing to surround myself with. Mm, thank you so much, Brian. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And what a perfect time to get some closure, you know, right at the end of a year. And I hope that you've all felt like this was helpful. Um, and I'm not sure if you are, you know, the type of people who generally set new year's resolutions or goals for yourself. But I imagine that if you're here, you probably are, um, people who, you know, want to, better yourselves, who want to take action towards um, your highest potential. Uh, and so I'm just so proud of you guys for even just taking just the small steps um, of, you know, just meeting new people, putting yourselves out there, showing up tonight, and just taking some time to reflect on your journey so far. Um, but before I wrap up with just a couple of notes for things to keep in mind moving forward, is there anyone else, particularly maybe anybody who hasn't been here before that would like to share <laughs> or at least to say hello or anything like that? Hi. Yay. <laughs> I am so excited to be here. And it's funny because I had I've been wanting to come Shannon to one of your <laughs> one of your full moon ceremonies or any of your offerings and it just hasn't worked out but I signed up a few weeks ago and I forgot that I signed up and yesterday or maybe the day before I was like you know what it's such a potent full moon coming and I want to like be intentional and do some journaling and I started doing a little research and I was like looking into what I could do. And then I got your email reminder that I had signed up for this. And I was like, yes, perfect <laughs> timing. I'm so glad to be here. I just, everybody said some really amazing things that I've wanted to respond to, but I'll just sit with it. But I will say, I, I just think it's so cool that, that we have a space here with men and women or however you identify. So thank you for holding that space. And also Brian, that is so amazing that you started a men's group because I think that it's just not something that's super common. And so to be able to hold that space is super, super powerful. Um, as far as what I, I've had some really wonderful reflections with your prompts, Sh Shannon, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. My first, my first um, feeling as we went into the meditation was that I really haven't changed that much. And I was a little bit like, oh, man, I haven't grown or changed. But then as I sat and, and worked through all these journal prompts, I realized that this year really has been like a, a year of integration. So I think it's really important for us to remember that like, we don't have to have these huge leaps and bounds that like little, small, little changes in the things that we do every day have a big impact on who we are for the rest of our lives. And so this integration period that I've been in, um, I've, I've guessed that what I realized throughout tonight's journaling process is I just feel a lot more grounded and mm -hmm. resilient and it's a good feeling. So thank you all so much for being here and like sharing space with, with me. Mary, thank you so much. And I, I was just so happy when your name popped up that you registered. And so I'm glad that you, you know, got the reminder and you were so free to come tonight. Um, I'm also glad that you haven't changed that much in a lot of ways, because when I first met you, uh, you were just so vibrant and I was so inspired by you. So Mary and I both received our um, certifications as soul purpose coaches and uh, Dharma coaches um, from the Dharma Coaching Institute, 
last year. And Mary, I believe you were the first person that I was paired with on a coaching pod. And so, yeah, this is like yeah. very full circle, but I do have to say that I've noticed a lot of growth in you just following along with your journey and just seeing how you have been sharing what you're up to. And I love following along with your travels and just even hearing you speak today, there is like a confidence in your voice. Um, and yeah, I'm just really proud of you and just so happy to see you and uh, just really glad to reconnect. Uh, and I also just want to take this opportunity to tell all of you that um, if there's ever a time that you just want to like reach out and have a one on one call and catch up, I would love that too. These calls um, are probably longer than anybody really wants to sit on Zoom. And I usually feel like there's not enough time to talk through everything and to catch up with everybody. Um, so at any point, if you want to just go over to my website, um, you can put in an inquiry and like schedule a call there, or you can just send me a message on Instagram and we can plan something. Um, I just would love to like actually hear more in depth of what's going on with all of you guys. And, uh, you know, especially some new faces, um, if you would like to meet, I know I really didn't even take a, a minute to introduce myself at the beginning of this, but I'm Shannon, um, <laughs> and I live in Pittsburgh, but um, I do love to travel, um, but that's why these uh, online calls have just been so nice, because I love being able to connect with people from anywhere and everywhere, so that's just been something um, that I'm really proud of from this year, something that I'm really happy that I've been able to stick to um, and do consistently, um, but also, I just wanted to let you guys know that along with uh, the replay of this um, tomorrow, I'm going to be sending a link to something that I've created um, that I'm calling the resol what, is, what do I call it? Resolution Reset uh, Seven Day Challenge. And so um, if you want to drop your email in there when you get the link, you'll get an email for seven days in a row just to kind of help you to continue on with um, just reflecting a little bit before you go making any giant plans or setting any resolutions for the new year, just so that you're making sure that you're setting them from a place of purpose um, and uh, that you aren't just like doing what somebody else told you to do or what somebody else looks like they've had success doing, but you're really just checking in with yourself um, and making sure that you can start to take aligned action towards the life that you really want and that is absolutely possible for you. Um, and I think that is everything. Um, but lastly, before we go, I would just love to ask, is there anybody that has anything else coming up um, that you would love to share with this community. Um, this is a perfect place to just like send an invitation. Uh, and yeah, so just let us know. And I will quickly, while you guys do that, look at the chat and make sure there's um, nothing in there that I need to respond to before we close out. I have something. <laughs> um, so I know some of you know this, but not everyone does. Um, I have my own small business. Um, it's Sabrina Spells and Crystals. And so I sell crystals and metaphysical supplies. They're all ethically sourced um, and affordable and high grade. Um, but yeah, so I actually have an event coming up at the refillery with Addie. Um, she works there. It's in Pittsburgh. So if you guys live in the area and are interested, um, we're going to be doing a self-love um spell jar workshop um and it's going to be like a galentine's day one in february the date's not confirmed yet or anything but um i'll put my instagram in the chat um if you guys want to follow and if people want to come um also mary i think at some point i'll be doing one in utah actually um because i was at um this a uh, vintage store a few days ago, Cielo. It's in Salt Lake. Um, and I was talking to her about things and she loves crystals and stuff. And she was like, oh my gosh, you should have a workshop here. So 
if that happens, um, you'll be knowing too. So <laughs> yay. yay. Thank you so much. Yeah, there is just something so special about an in-person event. So yeah, please share that with us and everybody just check out Sabrina's online shop to um, uh, lots of just beautiful pieces. And she's just so bright and her energy is so vibrant. I feel like any of her crystals have probably already soaked some of that up. So they're like extra powerful. But also just quickly want to mention that when Alex and I were in Utah, we were only there for like two days, but it wasn't long enough. We want to go back. It was so beautiful. So how funny that Sabrina and Mary are both there right now. Yeah, come visit. And you're welcome to also stay like with my family too, if you wanted to, Shan. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> of <laughs> I would course. Love that. Alrighty, my loves. Well, thank you so much. Anybody else have anything that you'd like to invite the rest of the community to? Um, I know Brian mentioned his men's group. So uh, if you also just want to post the link to that in the chat as well. And I know Sabrina put her handle there too. Um, so make sure you guys copy and paste that. I think I can save the chat. I believe it will like automatically save whenever I uh, end the call. So I can send all of this stuff out to you guys in an email too. Good. I'm just going to quickly read what Devin wrote here because this is a long message. Hearing what everyone shared, I got a common theme of people stepping into the notion that it's okay for them to deserve the nice things they see other people having and work to give other people to give to other people. And that's great. One of my big project spaces is my backyard. And a few years ago, um, I lost my place. Hold on one second. My dad told me I deserved a really nice backyard and that really stuck with me. I find myself encouraging my friends to treat themselves well because they deserve that. And it's hard to keep that in mind. So it's really nice to hear all of you committing to yourselves that way too. Mm, thank you so much, Devin, for sharing. I love everybody. Thank you guys. Happy full moon. Happy new year. Um, and one last thing that I'll share, um, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, um, this Friday, there is an ecstatic dance happening. Um, if you follow or Saturday, I'm sorry, it's Saturday. Uh, so if you follow ecstatic dance Pittsburgh on Instagram, you can find the info there and, and get tickets online. Um, so I'll be there. That's where I actually met Devin. And so hopefully he's there too. Um, but I just love this community. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I'm just wishing you so much peace and love and joy and health and happiness and abundance and all the good things in the new year. And I will be here if you need me. So just reach out anytime. And I hope to see you guys again soon. So thank you so much. Feel free to hop off. Um, and I'll hang out for just a minute if you want to stay on just to talk about anything else. But um, yeah, I love you guys and have the best night and go out and check out the full moon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Shannon. You. Glad I could make what was left. Oh my gosh, me too.